Hi guys, Matt here again with Bill Wright. Um, there's a pretty good response to our first after hours video where I worked on the Rivian 3D scan um, in my free time. And so I thought I would document the same process again, make a video and we'll see if it gets the same response. And if it doesn't, then we'll just stop. But uh, basically I'm standing outside of our office right now. Uh, I'm just about to head home, but because I think the sun's gonna be down by the time I get home, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what I'm thinking as far as our first product for this Rivian and uh, some get some rough dimensions so that um, you can see it in the daylight before I model it up. And my hope is to come in early tomorrow morning and rip out a couple of prototypes on our plasma table uh, before Maddie starts using that for our F-150 project. All right, so this is the cab wall. You remember last video, I popped off these plastic covers here. Uh, I'm leaving those exposed because uh, I'm going to show you one thing that I discovered when I popped those off. And that is, you can see here, I'll zoom in a little bit. The bolts are not centered in those uh, holes and they're not consistent either. So, so those two are pretty similar. High into the left. This one down here pretty close, maybe a little low and uh, low and left. So obviously the molding in the plastic is dead on and I've taken these out and behind this bolt is a bigger hole and these little metal kind of cups here and the washer allow for some misalignment there. So one of the things I'm going to do in my design and I can do this because the 3D scan is close enough is accommodate that misalignment there so that other trucks that are put together a little bit differently um, don't have a problem. All right, so I'm gonna abandon trying to show you that while I measure, because it's like impossible to hold the camera and show you the, the uh, tape measure. Uh, but the overall width is like 57 inches. The height was about 17 and a half, like we looked at. Uh, this is probably gonna be a two-piece panel to keep shipping reasonable. Um, we can also fit uh, parts onto a sheet of material more efficiently if they're a little bit smaller. Um, so there will be a seam in the middle of the two panels. Uh, we'll have threaded inserts in one of the panels. There will probably be kind of a jog where we tuck one behind the other for a clean look. And then across the back of the cab wall here, there's eight bolts. Um, we're going to be able to use those to mount the panel. It's going to be super solid. I, I think this is going to be one of my favorite products that we've made. Um, certainly, certainly favorite projects. Um, and then I think you know, there's these kind of wings. I'll flip you around. There's kind of these wings off to the side. Um, and we could just go with a, with a rectangular panel, but I think in kind of keeping with the beautiful lines of the, uh, the Rivian and the nice finished look, I'm gonna try and follow that with the panel. So we're basically gonna get totally like full coverage here. All right, so it's like 10 o'clock at night. My, uh, my family's asleep. This is when I get to play around with some of my projects. Uh, you can see I've got SolidWorks pulled up here with our 3D scan of the uh, R1T bed. I'm gonna go ahead and chip away at uh, a rough design that I was just describing a little bit earlier in the bed of the truck. Um, I'm not gonna like narrate the whole thing, um, but I'll film some of it. I'll we'll probably fast forward it when I edit it, um, but I'll try and stop and explain some of like the decision-making points. So real quickly, you can see I've got the CAD model um, of the 3D scan that we created last time. Uh, I apologize for the distortion in the camera lens. It's kind of wide angle because it's close to the uh, screen here. But uh, anyway, you see that. And uh, the other thing you're probably noticing at this point is we've cleaned it up a little bit. And because of some of the limitations of SolidWorks and how SolidWorks handles really large surfaces, um, I've split them up. So I've got this, what's called a graphic surface, which is the main shape of the bed here that I can't really select and work with. And if I hide that, I have our mounting points here isolated. SolidWorks can handle these a little bit more uh, easily. Um, it also allows me to create planes and features from them. Um, so I'm gonna open this part. And I've gone through and kind of done a little bit of legwork. Um, I described it while we were in the back of the truck, but basically, you know, uh, that 3D scan creates more or less imperfect dimensions. Um, so it's a matter of going through and sort of making a judgment call to create what I believe are accurate dimensions 
Um, it also helps create, you know, nice 90 degree angles, that sort of thing. Um, again, this is just so that we're working with, you know, straight square dimensions and angles as we're designing this, uh, this part. So that's kind of the rundown of what I'm working with now. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and try and rough out those panels. All right. So I got a little carried away there. Um, and more or less finished what I believe are probably like first prototypes for these panels. Um, you can see just like we were kind of anticipating, ended up being two parts side by side um, with a seam here in the middle. So this passenger side panel is gonna jog back behind the driver's side. They will connect here in kind of a nice concealed fashion. The passenger side panel will have a threaded insert pressed in from the back in these three locations, which my experience has been that it locks the two panels together really well. Um, and then especially considering our mounting features that we have on both sides, it's almost not even necessary, but we're gonna do it anyway. I am going to try in this video, I think, to end it with an installed prototype, just to not stretch this project out too long. So again, I'm just going to work on this space right now, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm back at the plasma table here. I just threw a fresh sheet of 11 gauge onto it. I've got our parts set up here. Um, this is a sheet cam, so this is where we set up our parts to um, create the G-code that the um, command CC, CNC will run. So I've got our two parts here. One of the things on plasma is that there's a little bit of bevel. So the front of the part is cleaner than the back. So I just orient these to make sure that we're cutting through the front. So we have nice clean prototype parts. Um, for the passenger side panel, it's gonna have a little jog in it, but that's difficult for us to bend and prototype here accurately. So I split it into two pieces and then we'll tack weld those together and it, it basically simulates that jog, but it's, it's a lot cleaner and um, strength-wise, it's more representative of the finished product. So I've got this. I'm gonna create the file. We'll look at the data here. So this cut is going to be, let's see if we can get you in there. It's, it's kind of interesting. So this cut is going to be 1100 seconds it's cutting just over 2,000 inches. Um, so it's a little bit deceiving, but when we're cutting these panels, you know, all of these features, it's a, it's a ton of cutting. And that's part of what contributes to the cost of these um, is that this is just a, this is a lot of, a lot of uh, inch cutting inches. So anyway, we've got that saved. We'll go over to Command CNC. I'm gonna open that same file. You can see I've got our tool. Uh, the plasma tooltip down there already zeroed on the piece of material. So with that, we should be good to go. And I zoom, you see this tool start moving. So while the plasma table is cutting, I thought I'd show you this. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but these are the spacers that we designed last night. Uh, we're gonna need eight total but I'm printing four just to make sure they work well, and then we'll print the other four. So uh, we got both of these things going at once. Our cut over here is still going well. All right, so these panels are obviously done cutting. Um, there's some cleanup to be done. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is when this is cutting, we have sheet cam set up, so you notice the cut in the center first. It does that to prevent warping. So it does that kind of in an automated, smart fashion. Um, but those cuts did pretty went pretty well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull these out, dry them off, I will hit them with the wire wheel over here. I'll show you how I'm gonna weld this tab to the back of the, uh, the passenger side panel. And then we'll get them prepped, hit them with some paint so they look nice, and, uh, and get them installed. So I was mentioning before, cut quality on the front, that is as it comes off the table. And 
on the back did pretty well but you can see there's a little bit of dross there wire wheel will knock that right off so that's what I'm gonna do next get these ready for welding All right, so the next step I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to actually weld some weld nuts onto the back of this so that when we're installing it, it is as if there are threaded inserts installed, which is what the production part would be. Um, so I'm going to tack these on, but I just noticed that our spacer's finished, so I'm going to pop these off. This four took about two hours to print. All right, so it's a little bit hard to show it, uh, do a great job showing this solo, but um, I do have our tab tacked in there. I mocked the whole thing up, bolted it together, and then tacked it so everything fits really nicely. Um, All right, so we got some raindrops coming down, but I'm gonna take a shot at this because I'm just not patient enough. I've got some of our um, billet aluminum countersunk washers. Those work with a uh, 12, 24 bolt, but I think they're gonna work okay for us. These are M6 by 150. I think that's gonna be short. We want 60s. That's probably all I'm gonna need out of there for now. Our Allen keys, 10 millimeter. Our spacers. I'm gonna have to hide under the cover if this rain gets any heavier. All right, so I'm pulling these screws out now. There's the two I've pulled out so far. Excuse me, so far. That one's pretty centered, but you can see this one's pretty far off. So I don't know what the deal is here. It's kind of interesting. The threaded inserts look like they're installed a little bit like a rivet nut. So there's probably some imperfection there. Obviously the plastic is molded. So it's unlikely that there's like inconsistency in the molding. And it makes me wonder what their process is for these to have this that far off. But anyway, I've got these four out. Let's see if I can. I've got these four out. I'm gonna pull the other four and then I'm gonna mount up our panels, attach them together, see how they fit. I will, uh, I'm gonna have a hard time doing that with the phone in my hand and I forgot to bring my tripod home. So I'm gonna do my best here, but I'll give you a uh, rundown once it's done. All right, so I'm back here at work, um, and I apologize because this video, I know once I edit it, is going to be kind of all over the board. Um, I'm trying to kind of track what I'm doing through the through the whole thing here, but this is kind of just the nature of document what I'm doing in like 15 or 20 minute, one hour long chunks, oftentimes at night. Um, but I wanted to kind of wrap it up a little bit with what is installed in the truck right now. Um, so I'm really happy with where I ended up on this prototype. This is going to be a really useful um, piece for me. Um, if there's interest based on this video and some of the, the forums and stuff that we're getting involved in, um, we may actually decide to commercialize the product, so bring it to market. Um, if that happens, the next video that I make will um, sort of be that process. Uh, this, is, this panel happens to be steel because that's what we prototype with. Um, and that's a lot of our like heavy duty truck panels are. I actually think based on the mounting features in the back of the Rivian, um, we can actually use aluminum for this, which would obviously save weight um, and be a little bit easier to handle. So uh, without rambling more, let me flip you around and show you where I ended up last night once it started raining. So we've got the driver's side and passenger side panels mounted up here. There's four mounting points each and they are mated in the center with three bolts. Um, once again, these are kind of crude prototypes, but they, they worked out really well. I think I would uh, have this, this is stainless steel hardware, I would have that black oxide coated. Um, the mounting turned out really nice with our countersunk washers, which is that again is how we are accommodating the, the misalignment that we noticed. Um, and then the fit is really nice, the way it follows the contours of the bed. Let's see if I can zoom in here past. There we go. Um, so I'm just generally really happy with how this turned out. Uh, I'm gonna mount my bike to it later on, uh, maybe this evening. 
um, because I've got kind of an interesting idea there. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is basically the finished product as far as I'm concerned. Like I said, if, if there's interest, we will commercialize this. Um, but for me, this, this is what I need. So uh, I'll, I'm gonna try and end the video here with a couple of beauty shots to give you a better idea because I know that uh, I'm not that great at handling a camera. Um, so we'll do that. And uh, based, on, based on the feedback, you may see a third video here.